Welcome to chapter 12. This chapter is all about the advanced features in QuickBooks. This is how to make a budget. To start, go up to Company. Find Planning and Budgeting. And click on Set Up Budgets. Now we're going to do this for the year 2015. Click Next. Select No Additional Criteria. Click Next and create budget from scratch. To do that, click finish. Now here is our new budget, and to start we're gonna put in a budget of $3,000 under the January 15th date. So go ahead and type in 3,000. After you've done that, click on copy across button down at the bottom. This of course is gonna copy the number 3,000 all the way across. After that, you're gonna wanna adjust the row amounts. So go ahead and click that. You're going to want to start at the currently selected month. After that, select increase each remaining month amount in this row by the dollar amount or percentage. And that percentage is going to be 5%. After that, select enable compounding and click OK. Now as you can see, the amount total has jumped to a higher number because we've enabled the compounding. And that is how you set up a budget. In the Customer section, click on Estimate, select the customer of the estimate. The address will then automatically populate. Select the item, the quantity, the rate, and the amount of the estimate. Save and close. To set up progress billing, first we have to change our preferences. So go up to Edit and go down to Preferences. Find Jobs and Estimates and switch over to Company Preferences. Now you want to click Yes to that indicate that we want to use Progress Billing. When you're done with that, click OK. Now that we have Progress Billing set up, we're going to use it to help create our estimates for our jobs. So go to Create Estimates in the Customer section. For the customer, we're going to use the Grand Prix Cafe. So select them. Once you have that, select OK for the available estimate. Now, we're going to want to create the invoice for the entire estimate, so click OK. Now, this shows the estimated time used on the work. Now, we're going to input the hours that were actually worked on the job. So from 40 we want to change it to 25 and the other one we're going to put in 0. Just click OK to the warning. And that's how you do progress billing, going from an estimate to the actual job worked. Click on Receive Payments in the Customer section, enter needed credit card information, and close. To record bad debts, click Receive Payments under the Customer section. Choose a customer. Now notice the balance due, but leave the payment amount zero. Select Discount and Credits. Enter the amount of the discount. Select Bad Debt Expense as the discount account. Click Done. And now you can see the amount discounted from their balance. Finally, click Save and Close. This concludes Chapter 12. Stay tuned for Chapter 13 a live QuickBooks project where you'll put everything you've learned to use.